Hi everyone, welcome to Focal Academy. See this problem. Here one trans function given here, that is v2 of s by v1 of s, that is 2s upon s square plus 2s plus 6. So this is a transfer function for the given or else circuit. So or else. So here no value is given. Only one value is given, that is resistance value, that is 1 kilo ohm. Then how can you find the remaining values, that is L and C values? This is the problem. So first of all, convert this circuit into the frequency domain. So for resistor, in frequency domain, it is R only. For inductor, it becomes SL. For capacitance, it becomes 1 by SC. These are impedances. Now I am going to read out the circuit like this. So this is the impedance here. This is another impedance here. Here we one. Why means here inductor capacitor, the voltage of it is there. So in parallel components, voltage is same. So that's why I am going to find overall impedance for these two components. That is L parallel C. Find the impedance here. That is S L parallel 1 by SC. It becomes 1 by S L plus 1 by 1 by SC. Nothing but 1 by Z1 plus 1 by Z2 equal to 1 by Z. So let's this is Z1 and this is Z2. I'm substituting here. So by simplifying this, we get S L by 1 plus S square L C. This is the overall impedance. So here impedance is R. Here the impedance is S L by 1 plus S square L C. Now here whatever the voltage drop across this impedance, this is the voltage drop across inductor and capacitor because both are in parallel. In this loop, let us assume that the current I is there. Now look at the problem here. Here V2 of S by V1 of S. So V2 of S is the voltage drop across this impedance. That is V2 of S by V1 of S according to Ohm's law V equal to IZ. So this is the I and this is the Z here. It becomes I into Z is SL by 1 plus S square LC. This is the V2 of S. Next V1 of S. It is overall impedance. For the overall impedance into current. That is R plus this impedance. That is SL by 1 plus S square LC into the current I. A current I cancel. It becomes S L by here 1 plus S square L C upon it take the LCM means cross multiply that is R plus R into S square L C plus S L upon 1 plus S square L C. Here 1 plus S square L C 1 plus S square L C will cancel and it becomes S L by S square R L C this is next plus S L plus R. Now compare with the given trans function. Here S square coefficient is 1. So make here S square coefficient is 1. So for that divide with R L C numerator denominator it becomes S L by R L C upon S square plus S by R C plus 1 by L C. Here L L cancel. So S by R C is there. Now compare this equation with the given trans function. So from the get. So here S coefficient is 1 by R C. That is equal to here 2. Now here 1 by R C nothing but 2 next 1 by L C that is equal to 6 R is already given that is 1 kilo now substitute here R value in the equation then we get C value so from this equation 1 by 2 R equal to C so I take C to the right hand side and 2 be the left hand side now substitute the values 1 by 2 into 
R is 1K. So it becomes 500 microfarad. This is the capacitance value. Now we know the capacitance. Now substitute the value in this equation. We will get inductance. That is 1 by Lc equal to 6. That is 1 by L into 500 microfarad equal to 6. By simplifying this, we will get 333.3 Henry. This is the inductance. So L value is 333.3 Henry and capacitance is 500 microfarad is required for to get this transfer function whenever R value is 1 kilo ohm. So these are the required values for the given problem and this is the process of simplification. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share. Thanks.